Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently fighting Malacca and honestly I feel like we can't really fight Brunei because they have similar numbers to us on the island of Borneo and they have substantial miltech on us. So what I feel like we need to do is withdraw off of Brunei and pull back to Lombok over here. And then maybe we can push into Malacca a little bit with our numbers, but I'm willing to bet we won't get very far. The entire idea at this point is we've already gotten two provinces out of this war, and I'm not sure we're going to get much more. I'm basically in survival mode at this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fleet over here, this army into Burrito. Burrito? Should clearly colonize this and rename it to Burrito. <laughs> it's Barrito, but uh, close enough. Anyway, uh, the other question is, do we go for this dip tech? And I feel like it's not worthwhile right now. Like, how much can we store 1778? We're fine for now. I think we wait on this dip tech until we can get an admin and a mil tech. Because I do not want corruption to be growing even further. We are losing a good amount of money, and we need to get out of this war to deal with that, realistically. Primarily, our money is going to interest payments. We can deal with that once this war is done. So, let's just go ahead and get these in position here. Okay, we're in position. We are leaving Borneo. Now, Massacre was over here. Did anyone land in any of our other islands? I don't think they did. So that's nice. That certainly is nice. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was gonna look to see if there's a battle planner like in Vicky 2. I don't think there is in Europa. But if there is, that would be a super nice thing to have, at least for my purposes. Triggered modifiers. I've n I've literally never gone in there before. Okay. Find, zoom in, zoom out. I don't think there is, unless it's, like, hidden behind the outliner. No? No battle planner. I'm actually sad about that. I wish there was one. Anyway, let's proceed. If there is one and you know where it is... Please let me know, because I would love to have one. Okay, so we are obviously taking attrition here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shift consolidate. And then we're going to pull out all zero strength and non full strength units. Like so. These units will all back off for right now. Now, we're still going to be getting attrition here, and that's to be expected. But I want to push in over here. We need to get here while we have naval superiority. Or at least, while we're not blockaded. So let's come on in. And you guys can actually come back to Lombok at this point. So we're blockaded where? Where did this blockade come in at? Right here? Perfectly fine. Not concerned about that. If they enter the Straits of Lombok, they did. Or did they go into the Java Sea? They're going into the Java Sea. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say if they enter the Straits of Lombok, then I was going to fight them. But they didn't. Okay, we control that, and we have converted. Excellent. Oh, we. this is an island? We have to transport this? Okay, that's a little awkward. Oh, the Bible has been translated, huh? Okay. <laughs> so, we could burn the priest in his books and make the Papal State and Portugal, interestingly, happy with us. Otherwise, we could gain three reform desire for Catholicism and make the Pope and Portugal angry. Is Portugal the papal controller? Is that why Portugal's in this? Lithuania's the papal controller. 
I guess Port Portugal just has a lot of cardinals and a lot of influence. I don't mind making Portugal mad. Okay, Makassar is claiming. Whatever, I really don't care about that. Let the invasion begin. Wait, why did we drop down to 10% war score? Is it just because of the blockade? I think it's just because of the blockade. We currently have 10 war score. Hypothetically, how many more reasons to a white piece? 20. Okay. Sounds good. I'm just hoping Brunei doesn't decide to invade us. Do they still have no boats? Brunei, where are you? Brunei. They have one transport. Okay, that's not very frightening. They are building boats, but they don't have any. And yeah, we're losing war score, I think, exclusively due to blockades. Which is fine. Now that our primary force is in position here, we can use our navy to break their blockades. Oh, these guys aren't quite there yet. Another month. Wow, okay. Well, we'll just move on for now. Head into Kadiri. Okay, Naru is now self-sustaining. That's good. We are not going to be sending the colonist out on another mission just yet, because I'm very concerned about our funds. Very, very concerned indeed. But we can now use this fleet to come see if we can block, break some of their blockades. Block some of their breakades, I guess? Those are, uh, those are words. They're, they're not actually. Those are not words. Okay, so the question now becomes, how, how risky do we want to play this? Like, do we want to divide this unit? I feel like we can do something like that, and then we'll have less attrition. We're going to have to keep a close eye on it, though. Okay, we're going to continue chasing some ships around. They will be arriving in the Timor Sea on 15 February. I don't suppose we can catch them. Nope. One day away. That's a little unfortunate. But we can keep chasing them around and trying to maintain some war score because we apparently have naval superiority through some miracle. Like, I'm not sure where where their big fleet went. But it's around somewhere, I would assume. Malacca has a small fleet there. Oh, look at that. They're actually attacking our capital. Hm. I didn't realize they were doing that. I don't suppose they want out yet. Nope, they're getting there. But us losing our capital is going to be a pretty big deal. Actually, let's come back here. And uh, let's fetch these guys. And send them to go defend the capital. It's going to take them a while to get there. And I'm not sure they will get there in time to, de to actually defend it, but they should be able to take it back. That's the idea, anyway. Okay, I don't want to actually push out just yet. And that's why. Oh my, okay. Retreat. That's a 43k stack. Hypothetically. Negative seven reasons. Suggesting the offer of Lombok, they would take that. I don't suppose they would just take gold? No, they want other concessions other than gold. Okay, um, what other things could we potentially do? They don't want this which I would be okay with 
They don't want that. They would accept conceding defeat. Oh, they would accept it if we just concede defeat. So we would lose prestige, and then they would just accept this. Yeah, and then we come out of it with two provinces, ultimately. I'm doing it. That is super good. Okay. We conceded defeat. <laughs> because, you know, that does so much. Okay, so we need a rival. We can now rival Malacca and Brunei separately. And indeed, we're going to do both of those. Okay, so these guys are peacing out. We are now at peace. Now, how much of what we're paying is going into reinforcing? Actually, we'd be making money if we weren't reinforcing right now. Okay. Come back to Lombok. Come over here. We can enact a government reform, and we are indeed going to do that. Let's see, we can do what? Tier 5? Institution embracement cost. We only need two more institutions in total. But I think that's better for right now. Actually, three more institutions in total. Global trade is still on the way in. It is embraced in one province now. Which one? Oh, because we got it up here. Right. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. It is spreading in quite a few more. So that's good. Now, one thing we could theoretically do is promote settlement growth in this province to just try to boost the development of owned uh, owned global trade embracing provinces. But I think right now, based on how much development there already is there, that's not amazingly worthwhile. And I would rather continue with our colonization. So let's see here. Wh where are we actually colonizing right now? Marshall Islands only. Okay. So these guys can go ahead and move up over here, but we need to go ahead and enable automatic transportation on these boats. And that'll be the first fleet. That is accurate. Fantastic. And then the question is, do we want to start colonizing over here? And I feel like we do. Like, we've, we've got two... Uh, adjacent provinces here. So we can go ahead and send here, and then we can reorganize our army a little bit, and that's going to be what we're going to do. So let's tick forward, and we can actually do another colony, can't we? Yeah, we can. Let's see, that's 6k and 6k. So we'll do two right there, one in each. Okay, how long until we can get Miltech 11? Still a while. It's unfortunate. Okay, I want to... No. Are we locked in on one of these or what? Yeah, we are. Okay, that's fine. Just let them both go on over. There we go. We'll head on over. Because, yeah, we had no way of defeating this army. That was just not going to happen, so conceding defeat was a necessity there. Makassar is allied with Brunei and Malacca still, but that's okay. Okay, uh, where are you guys going? You guys uh, should be on your way over. Oh, they're just marching straight onto the boat? Wait, how is that part of... How's that connect? Oh, the port is up here. And then it connects to Straits of Malak or Straits of Lombok. Right, 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 right. Okay. That makes sense. So go on in. And we're gonna need to get troops up there relatively quickly. Okay. We would shift consolidate, but we actually don't need to. So I'm going to bring seven units and they are going to come up here 
And then the question is, do we have better supply limits anywhere? Sambawa is slightly better. Flores is slightly worse. We'll head into Sambawa for the time being. And then we'll transport these armies away. Um, I would rather lose the prestige, I think. Okay. Now we'll move these guys back over to New Zealand, where they can drill safely. And we have troops in position to defend our fancy new colonies. You can go ahead and dock. We don't need you floating around out there. Uh, go ahead and dock, actually. Oh, are you already? That doesn't look like you're docking. Yeah, I didn't think so. Just go ahead and dock. There you go. Okay, now we're going to have to keep an eye on this because we only have one army to defend both of these. But looking at this, it's more likely that they're going to pop in Pozo because their aggressiveness are... Uh, Far higher there. Their, their aggressiveness is far higher, even. Okay, we converted Palau. That's always nice. There we go. Okay, well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue our spread and continue trying to survive. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.